we're going to start on Thursday night. We got the Cowboys going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bucks are an eight point favorite. Total is 52. Odds provided by BetUS. Click the link in the description to get a deposit bonus, and it's awesome. I'm telling you, the promo code's down there. So, Cowboys and Bucks, I this seemed super easy, right? Because I think the line opened at like six, six and a half. And and I thought, man, every this is everybody's gonna hammer Tampa Bay. This is gonna be awesome. They're getting the Super Bowl trophy. They're at home. This is gonna be great. They're getting the rings, right? Isn't that what they do? I I thought, man. Who, well, no, they've already gotten their rings. That's right. That's right. But they, they're they're doing like the presentation and stuff, right? But I, I don't. I kind of feel like maybe this might be too many points for early in the season. I know that Tom Brady. Like I feel like they're going to win this game. But this was an incredibly volatile team. We talked about it in the playoff or in the playoffs in the previews before. I tend to believe that this is going to be a closer game than eight points. At now, do I think that Dallas is great or anything like that? No. But this is still a team full of professionals, and they've got a lot of weapons, and Dak Prescott coming back is going to be a pretty big night for him, I think. I I tend to believe that this will be closer than eight. I'm going to take the Cowboys plus the eight here. This is not one of my official plays. Those will be at the end of the end of the show. But I, I tend to think that you know their defense will be a little bit improved, and... And they'll be able to get some stops, and their weapons will find a way to get into the end zone at least a few times. I like the Cowboys here. Yeah, I don't. I think Tampa Bay is going to kill them. Here, here's the problem. The Tampa Bay team has done nothing but practice since they won the Super Bowl. Okay, They've gotten together, they've stayed together, and they have spent a lot of time together. You know who hasn't practiced at all? At all? Just not, not a damn snap, Dak Prescott. Yeah. Dak, Dak hadn't thrown a football in like two years. Okay. He <laughs> he is at some point in time, you have to play football to get good at football. Now I like Dak and I want Dak to come back healthy, but I don't know what Dak's gonna look like. And let me tell you what's not gonna help. All right. Zach Taylor or whatever, whatever the big offensive lineman's name is, went down this week for Dak for, for the Cowboys. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Oh, who's coming back in Dominic and Sue healthy and, and now ready to play for Tampa Bay? Like that's not a trade you want to make. All right. True. That is that is not good for anybody's life at all if if you're trying to extend the quality of your life. Okay. I just think Tampa Bay is better at every facet of the game. I like CD Lamb. I like the toys that that Dallas has. They ain't played a defense like this. No, you're uh, you're not wrong about that. And they uh, haven't played together at all. It's my it's, problem is not that they're not good. Is at some point in time I want to see you play together. It's Zach Martin, by the way, the uh, the guard, it. and it is it's COVID. So yeah, COVID. So out uh, out dealing with that IR reserve COVID nineteen. So yeah, uh, I I see where you're coming from. I just sometimes I I overthink these things, and mm. this seemed like such an easy play because we it, the Cowboys were not good. They couldn't stop anybody last year. But something tells me the defense is going to look a little bit better. I think getting back on the field like this, we're going to see a little bit of sloppy play early in the season like we do almost every year. Even though the Bucs have all 22 coming back, I do think that there is a chance that this could be, you know, a touchdown game. I mean, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a full point over a touchdown here. So, I will, so I will here's, here, here's the issue about the sloppy play. Sloppy play is going to happen week one. It's going to happen with the bad teams that are poorly coached. It won't happen with the good teams that are well coached. That's the issue. Is the first four weeks of the season, we, you just bet on coaches. You just bet on coaches. And I'll, and I'll take Bruce. Yeah. I'll take Bruce all day long. I figured you probably would. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.